Hello, welcome to Graphics Connection. This is Harry Rosales. In this video, we're going to show you how to create a vehicle graphics uh, layout by using Photoshop. And uh, we are going to use one of its powerful tool called Blending Mode. So with that said, let's collapse this website first and open the, uh, the software, Adobe Photoshop go up to file open and open the artwork and there it is there's the uh, before and after before the graphics and with the graphics and if I zoom into this van uh, as you can see we have all of this light and shade all of the grooves that you see here you will also see through this finished layout as if the uh, graphic has already been applied onto the uh, the van, and that is the power of blending mode that we're going to try to cover in this tutorial. So let's look at the layers here real quick. I have a first composition, which is the finished composition here at the bottom. I have the second composition, which is just the van for now, and if I click it open. I already have created the uh, the graphics for the text, which is just the graphics connection, uh, graphics connection company name, and I call it construction department. And with that, I found this matching picture, construction picture, perfect match. And I already have the uh, the phone number also right up the top. So what we're going to be recreating is this, this right here. And so let's start by tracing the van. And we're going to trace this van using the uh, polygonal lasso tool. So let me go to uh, the tool palette and click polygonal tool and use the uh, polygonal lasso tool. So let's start tracing this van by clicking. Click and click. We are going to use this for our uh, blending mode and our clipping mask. So that's what this uh, selection is going to be used for. Click here until we're finished. Keep clicking. A lot of clicking to do. I'm not even going to worry about being accurate. The main thing is that we're going to try to cover the uh, the blending mode because it does help create your artwork more realistic. And by the way, if you make a mistake clicking like this right here, just hit backspace and it will go back to your first click and then you can continue on uh, just like I did. So just click clicking. here and there and we've created that selection area what we're gonna do what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna go up to uh, to the layer and new and layer via copy I'm gonna click that what it did is it created that selection copy of this and so next we're gonna I'm gonna hold down the command key on the keyboard and click that icon and um, I'm gonna make a new layer and I'm gonna fill this new layer with white so I'm gonna go to the uh, tool palette click the foreground uh, color and make sure that it's white and it is already white so I'm gonna click OK Go to the tool palette again and click on the paint bucket and click this, uh, I mean fill it with white. There it is and I'm going to deselect by clicking command D. There we go. And I'm going to go back to this layer here which, uh, which is the, uh, uh, the copy, the selection copy of this van. And we're going to call this details. 
right there and this white solid fill we're gonna call this one clipping and then uh, I'm gonna go back to the details and I'm gonna go up to the image adjustments and go to hue saturation and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna slide the saturation all the way to the left until it is negative 100 and click OK I'm gonna go back up to the image again one more time and go to the adjustments and at this time we're gonna select levels and we are gonna try to create a, a good contrast between light and shade for our detail that we're going to use for our blending mode so slide it to the right until we get a good contrast between light and shade right there just like that it's good enough for me and I'll click OK and we're going to turn this layer into a uh, screen and this is what's called blending mode right here in your layer if you click normal you have all of the selection and these are all blending modes so we're going to be using screen for this for our details uh, layer and I'm going to go back to clipping and on this one what we're going to use is we're going to use the blending, blending mode called multiply there and this image we're going to put this right in between details and clipping so let me drag it down and I'm also going to clip it using this clipping now because that's what the clipping is for and I do that by highlighting this image and holding down the alt key and clicking right in between them just like that and now we're going to bring up our detail boom if I zoom into this you're already seeing all those groups that we have on the van it is intact and that's what this thing is look like here down at the bottom now let's bring up the van but as you also notice that it looks kind of washed out don't worry about it you can come back to the details and if you go up to the fill you can adjust the fill down to about 60% to bring out the the image below which is the uh, construction image and um, that's it it looks pretty good and let's bring out the uh, the phone number and the company information but let's go ahead and drag this over to the same clipping mask area so that they're all in the same layer I mean the clipping mask so that simple You've created a more realistic vehicle wrap for your art proofs that your customer is going to be happy to see. And I hope that this video helps. I'll see you in the next videos. Thank you for watching.